Okay, I've been editing our file here and um, to create our man page, and I think I've uh, got it in pretty good shape. You can see here it um, <laughs> it's a lot shorter than the original file because it doesn't say much. One of the nice things about editing your file is um, with like Emacs is I can edit a, a while. Let me point something in here. Uh, do a save of that file. And uh, with the Control X, Control S, and then I go back to my um, other window, and I just simply type man, turkey, whatever, and it will uh, type out my man. And as you see, the R's are in here from when I've made the change. Let's go back here. Let's take those out, because that's probably not what I really want. I'll save that guy again. Go back here. Do a another man of Turkey, and guess what? They're gone. Um, that gives me, you know, OK, that's not a word processor. What you see is what you get. But it gives me a pretty quick, easy way to um, um, see just what's happening and to make changes fairly interactively in this um, um, markup language. In fact, actually, I find it easier than working in HTML where you've got to load it up to a web server and use a web browser and whatnot to um, uh, to look at the HTML files that you've just edited. Um, or I guess if they're pure HTML, I don't really need a web server. But usually, mine have enough interactive activity that I need a web server. Um, and um, um, and that works. And I've got my man page. So there's my man page. Notice one thing. This man page, unlike the original one, is not um, um, is not compressed. I can compress that man page um, by doing a gzip turkey. Uh, well, I don't have permission. I'd have to become root to do that. But I. I can either leave that man page compressed or uncompressed. Um, um, most implementations of the man command will work with them either way, whether they're compressed or uncompressed. Normally, the distributions I use use compressed man pages. But when I write my own man pages, uh, chances are I leave them uncompressed because um, I don't write enough of them. It's not going to save me that much disk storage, and uh, you know, so it's. I just don't see the point to compressing them, um, to compressing my own personal um, man pages, to compressing all the systems one. Yeah, there's enough of those that it does save some space, um, especially before disk drives became as cheap as they are now. Okay. So with that, we have our command, turkey.sh. And we have a man page for our command. And we are really pretty much done here. Um, the last thing you probably want to do is think a little bit about where you want to archive this, where you want to keep backup copies, and some sort of plan on I I its future, whether you're going to upgrade this, or how you're going to maintain it, things of that type. But essentially, we're done with this. Now, this is a pretty dumb command. It doesn't use any branching statements, any loops. It's you know very basic. And it's got the big, huge flaw that it stores the log files in um, um, in the area, in dmandel's area. dmandel you know, may not be the person using this command. So um, if you really wanted to make this a more general command, you would probably um, go back and upgrade the command um, using the um, ID or something to, or home directory, something so that you, so that instead of this log file always being under slash home slash dmandel slash logs, it would be, uh, we'd use a variable there so that it wouldn't be hard coded. And then, you know, we may want to do a check, a test to see if the logs uh, subdirectory already exists and make it if it doesn't exist and 
uh, use it if it does exist. Or we might want to do a test to see if um, um, if we have the proper access rights to actually create the log files in the area that we're trying to create them. So um, there's lots of things we could do with this little this little dumb program, but um, but I'm not going to do them. So with that, I think that's um, all the videos I have the, uh, for uh, Chapter 7. Um, unless I would get around to writing a video uh, or to doing a video on um, um, a couple more sample videos, particularly a video that uses uh, Emacs uh, macros. But that's for another time. So bye-bye.